What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to my unboxing and assembly and review video of the Forge World Contemptor Pattern Las Cannon. I hope you've all been doing well. There have been a lot of huge changes in my life recently, and uh, attempting to continue doing my commissions and uh, work on my various projects has been uh, really crazy. But uh, hopefully we get onto a little bit more of a stable track as we're moving on into 2017. It's, oh, I can't believe it's already February. All right, let's let's unbox this thing, huh? You've got one sprue, one resin sprue, and you've got your last cannon piece on the left. You've got your rotator piece in the center, so it gives you a little bit of um, mobility. And you've got your shoulder mount piece on the end there. And uh, I'm going to be approaching this from a from the perspective of someone who's going to be magnetizing the weapons. So. When I'm looking at this, these three uh, pieces here, I'm trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to magnetize them? So the first thing that I'm doing, and you can either do this first or you can wait to clip the pieces until after you've cleaned them. And um, this time I decided I'll, I'll just do them separately. Usually though what I'll do is I'll keep them on the sprue because uh, having them all together is easier than keeping track of all the fiddly little pieces. And I'll put them in my container and I'll just uh, rinse them with soap and water. But uh, this time I'm going to show them off separately, so we're going to look at them. Here's a shoulder mount, and that's the piece that you're going to be putting into the shoulder piece of the dreadnought itself. So that's going to glue in there, and my plan is I'm going to drill out the center of that circular hollow at the bottom, and that's where I'm going to be putting my magnet, right there. So uh, the magnet is going to go in there and then on the other side what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill and slot in a, a nail or a screw rather than another magnet because another magnet might be too strong you don't want it to rip uh, you don't want one to rip the other one out of its housing but once I figure out where uh, what direction I want my my weapon to be in you can see how easily that uh, rotating piece works with the weapon itself so once you figure out a good angle i'm going to glue that to the weapon and then i'm going to that's where i'm going to be putting the magnets so now taking a look at the last can itself you can see a little bit of a um i don't know what you would call it, a little bit of flash on the bottom there and um, it's going to be easy to scrape off it's just a, a little bit of a bummer but the thing that I'm most impressed with, and I'm, I'm so happy, that's why I'm making that fist there, is because I'm noticing how straight the two barrels are. If you had something like a fine cast product, it might come out warped and bent. And I've, I've actually even seen some Forge World pieces come a little bit bent, but uh, this one seems to be really nice. And uh, that's great because that means you don't have to go in there with hot water and re-bend it yourself. So here I'm pointing out more of the uh, mold, extra flashing on the mold, and can't really see it, the camera's not really focusing. Um, this is my fault, I should have gotten the, gotten the, the uh, dreadnought out of the way because I think the camera's trying to, is, is like, what do, you, what do you want to focus on? Igor! Igor, you are my faithful trusty cameraman, why aren't you focusing the camera? I'm sorry Masa, I haven't done this in months. I've been sleeping in the graveyard for the past year. All right, so that's right. I've <laughs> I've got all my boys back. I've rehired them, put them all to work, and you always back at the camera. That's here. We have the completed last cannon. As you can see, ah, oh, jeez, there goes my fridge. Boy, I just cannot film a video today without all these crazy interruptions and stuff. That's where I put the um the magnet and just pops in right there and it looks great the thing about magnetizing is uh, you, you want to really avoid that uh, what I call the wobbly arm and for me that means just really being careful with your placement of the magnets and uh, your placement of the uh, I, well, well I'm gonna be using the nail to uh, to stick it to and when you're gluing it together you want to make sure that there's enough surface area for that uh, for the two pieces to form that bond and click onto each other. Just like people. <laughs> oh boy. Hope you guys are doing great. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, uh, all the links are down below. Laters!